<clears throat> What's going on everyone? Uh, AJ here again. I'm getting a ton of positive feedback from my Swift UI videos, the past two that I've I've created. Um, and uh, you're more, you know, this is the channel for it, so you're more than happy to go look at the other two. I'll actually have um, at the end of this video links to go to go see the other the other episodes. Um, but this is going to be a couple of videos, so I'm going to keep this one very short. Um, but the end goal, so the so what, so this episode is going to be particularly focusing on setting up our pages, um, and then that next episode will be uh, actually integrating animation um, and stuff like that. So we're going to be creating. This is an existing project I have, um, and we're going to be creating this animation, these onboarding screens. So this is first screen, second screen, and then this animation to the third screen. Um, so for now, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on creating these screens right here. Super easy, just an illustration with a header and a, and a sentence. And then once we're done creating these three pages, um, there will be another video which will probably be in you know, more depth, um, kind of explaining how we're going to be able to create this type of animation, which is pretty cool. Um, so with that being said, we're going to dive into it. Uh, so we're going to call this a uh, onboarding project. So these pages that I'm showing you are essentially um, pages you're going to probably put into your app right after a user signs up. Uh, onboarding pages are re really, really good at uh, kind of explaining to a user the main goal of what your app does slash how it works. So it's really good that you one, you uh, on each card you have a catchy header and then you have a sentence after below that or whatever um, that kind of explains uh, some that kind of explains what this uh, what your app does. So for instance, what I mean by that is create groups. Actually, let me let me see. Uh, create a shortcut, right? I mean, I don't I can't really go into detail about this project that I'm working on. It's coming out in July, but pretty much what will happen is, as you can see, create shortcuts, right? So that kind of draws a user in. You want to have a header that draws a user in, right? And then after that, the user is going to be like, what is what does this at mean create shortcuts? And you want to keep it to one to two sentences that kind of explains this header, right? So the user understands, oh, okay, create short sh shortcuts as in like a signed photo, a link, a document, or even text snippets. Um, to a shortcut you create, and then you can access those shortcuts right from your right from your keyboard. Which means that uh, this app that I'm creating, uh, you know, I, I run multiple multiple things right now. You know, I have my own software development studio, then I have my own social media app, and then I'm doing this, and I'm constantly sharing different links, uh, different documents, uh, everything. You know, those types of things. So instead of kind of going and searching for those links and documents, or even pitches like text snippets. That I'm sending to you know investors, I can just when I'm on my phone, I, you know, I can open up this app and I can create a shortcut. Maybe it's for uh, maybe there's a shortcut for what my de my design file for this app. And if I want to share it with my friend, I can just go to the text message and click this shortcut, and it's going to paste that file right in the messages. Um, or I could just attach it to an email. But instead of just searching your documents and you know searching your phone. I just imagine pasted is the name of it um, being an easy tool for you to use every day to you know kind of communicate what you're what you're trying to push um, throughout the day and and you know sometimes maybe maybe you don't even want to use it for business maybe you just want to use it to save certain pictures you know that you want to share with people or or certain or certain uh, text phrases or or documents whatever it may be whatever I'm to, I'm just trying to make it easier to. Sh to share this type of content and to find this type of content because I'm constantly looking for my favorite pictures um, of me and my girlfriend and, and, and family. So it can be a struggle, but let's dive into this. I'll stop ranting. Um, so for one, got to get my assets set up. So I'm going to do uh, illustration one. Illustration one. Oh, spell illustration one. Come on, learn to spell. Uh, and then this illustration two. Copy that. Illustration three. Oh, just kidding. 
All right, go to my downloads folder to get my assets. Drag them right in there. This is the third one. Drag this guy right in there. This is the second one. Drag this guy right in there. All right, so our assets are set up. Content view. What's this looking like? <clears throat> So you're going to build your app, you're going to resume it. Um, this is the preview for those just tuning in. Uh, it's what SwiftUI is really known for. Uh, you can have literally real-time updates. So I hate that phone, iPhone SE. I hate it. <laughs> so we're going to change to the uh, 11 Pro. So like I said, look, if I change, if I delete this, it automatically updates, which is cool. So this content view right here is going to host every page. Uh, of, of, of our onboarding pages and it's gonna host all the animation but for now in this video we're gonna keep it short and sweet and we're gonna make our individual pages so that we can start populating this page uh, with those pages kinda wanna break up your code you don't wanna put everything all on one page because um, you know it's it's gonna be hard to kinda find where things are located and uh, it's just not good structure so to start we're gonna go to here gonna open a new file we're gonna call this guy on my oh by the way I'm sorry for any type of typo um, that that you see during the video my Mac keyboard is completely is freaking trash man I mean I, I, I'll type multiple T's and F's at the same time it's just annoying so I apologize in advance so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the first onboarding screen. I'm immediately gonna embed this into a V stack so we can start t stacking vertically. And then um, I'm also gonna be referencing my code from my other project just to make sure that I'm handling this correctly. As you see, I'm doing here. Uh, I don't wanna mess this up for you guys. So um, just making sure here. Okay, so this is what I thought. So you're gonna embed it in another V stack. All right. And then we're gonna add an image, image, and um, we're gonna call this illustration. See, that's what I'm talking about. Illustration one. Okay, so so you're gonna see here it's 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 very big, which is okay. I mean, we could definitely uh, keep it this size, and I'm going to just to see uh, how it pans out here. And then the first text is gonna the first onboarding is gonna be create groups so we're just gonna copy this okay and then we're gonna add we're gonna copy this again watch what happens when I copy it stacks um, okay hmm all right all right so we got this so far so I mean so far, so good. We got our illustration on here. We have a uh, our header, and then we have our um, our uh, sentence. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to um, we're gonna start editing our header here. So what I want to do is add a font, and then parentheses dot size, and it gives us these options. I'm gonna make this 25 dot bold and dot rounded. Nice, that's exactly what I wanted. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do the same thing, and dot system, and we're gonna keep this around 17, and let's just do medium, and dot rounded. All right, cool, and then what we're gonna do is, uh, I think it's text, Oh, here it is. Multi text alignment. Text alignment dot center. Maybe if I delete this. There it is, dot center. Now this centers the text, right? Um, instead of having a line to the left there. Uh, it's up to you. I, I think this looks a little better uh, personally. So I'm going to then definitely add some padding bottom make this like 10 maybe even 20 yeah that looks better all right so how big is this okay yeah so actually this illustration looks pretty good I mean for the most part 
this for you know first page you know I really like how this is looking um, alright cool so we're gonna keep this like this we're gonna go ahead and make uh, our second page new file right click over here and then we're gonna do onboarding two. And what I'm gonna do, you know, a lot of coding is what I'm, you know, what I'm starting to figure out is it's a lot of copy and paste. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Highlight everything, Control I, so it's neat. Um, do the same thing over here. Okay, that's looking good. And just so you guys know, what another cool trick that I like about SwiftUI is I can literally close this panel here, so I have more of a big, uh, you know, a bigger screen. And this allows there's these breadcrumb menus up here as well, so I can literally just scroll or navigate between each screen this way uh, instead of having to kind of use up some screen real estate here. So I'm gonna close that, and we're gonna make this two. Nice. Okay, create shortcuts. And we're going to copy this. Okay. All right. And honestly, I think this is going to need to get moved up. Uh, I have to be. Yeah, that seems about right. Um, Um, let's actually make it 75. What's 50? Let's do 50. All right. So then our third, and actually, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna see here padding dot horizontal equals 10. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna add this as well, so that um, this this you know there's some spacing in between uh, those. The, the side uh, walls there of the phone. Usually want to keep around, you know, design and roll is 15 to 20, depending uh, pixels. Usually 20 is the average, I think. Um, all right, so then, you know, uh, time to do onboarding three. Uh, so I'll pull this out. Unfortunately, you have to create a new file this way. And we're gonna do uh, onboarding three. And I'm going to then copy the code from here, right, go to onboarding three, delete this mess, fix it, three, resume, what's this look like, access any time. access any time. And then, all right, okay, cool. All right, so, <laughs> um, yeah, the padding, let me just see. Yeah, so you, you can already tell, let's see if I get rid of this. See, you can already tell there's, like, if we go to one, so, yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. So you're definitely going to want to add um, some padding real quick. Padding, I'll, t I'll explain this in a second, probably around 20. Let's uh, reduce this by 30. So, all right, if you go to onboarding one here, right, you can tell, look, create groups is right here, right? So, and, and everything's aligned down here. Now watch what happens when we go to onboarding two. Right, so it's a little higher. You can tell that. Onboarding three is kind of a kind of around the um, area of um, onboarding one, right? So we we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna mess with this more once we start playing with animation, um, so that we can start aligning these texts uh, in the same x axis x axis. At, on the phone, right? So we're gonna make sure that as we slide, right, as we slide, that this header and this paragraph are are kind of on the same line. So it's not like when you slide, one header's up here, 
and then a paragraph's down here, and then when you go to the third page, a header's down here, and the paragraph's down here, right? So that's not something we want. We want to make sure it's on the same level. We want to make sure the illustrations are almost on the same level as well. Um, apologize for the background noise, slack. Uh, but those are the things we kind of want to keep in mind during this process. Um, I'm a designer, so these little details like this matter to me. And um, so what I'm going to do now is populate these three, th these three screens into the content view before we go here. So I'm going to head on over to the content view right here. We're going to zoom this. We're going to embed this uh, VStack and we're going to change this to a Z stack. And then we're going to add a color background of color lit. If for those who don't know, highly suggest using co color lit whenever you can. Um, it just gives you a way to customize and be able to pick whatever color you want, right? I mean, look, you can double, you, you can uh, come over here and pick whatever color. You can then come in here and drop the hex code you want. I mean, it's, it's the greatest invention ever. Um, so now what we're going to do is you're going to see I'm going to start populating um, these pages in here. So literally, this is what I love the most about Swift UI. I can literally just come in here, type this in. Put in the parentheses, click resume, and there's there's onboarding one. Okay, so then I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna you know put onboarding two, right? Oh no, they're starting to stack on top of each other, right? So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? So this is what we're gonna do, right? For the time being, we're just gonna do offset x. So the x axis as x axis as I was talking to you about is horizontal, right? Y is vertical. So all we're telling Swift UI to do is hey, push on boarding to that way 500 pixels, which is definitely longer or wider, I guess more than the width of the actual phone. I believe this is 375 or 325. I think it's 375 width. So 500 pixels means it's way off the screen. Right, so we're gonna do the same thing with onboarding three and call it a day after that. Right. All right, now we only have onboarding one. Okay, so once we're so now that we have these three screens done, um, you know what we're gonna do in this next video is we're gonna add the button at the bottom, the skip to complete button, and then we're gonna add a whole bunch of animation uh, to to these pages. So. It's going to be more of a longer a longer video unfortunately, but you're going to learn a lot and I'm excited to show you guys. And um but for this video that's all we had to, that's all we had for t for today and uh you know, feel free to go ahead and uh tap this next video once this video ends. And if you guys have any comments, concerns, questions, please post down low. Um and also subscribe to the channel if if you want. And uh, last but not least, obviously, if there is a, um, you know, I'm constantly looking on Dribbble for designs that I can replicate. If you're a designer and you have a design that you want me to replicate, please just DM me on Twitter or which you'll, you'll, you'll see in the bio down uh, underneath this video or email me, whatever. Because um, I want to I show how easy it, I mean, look how easy this was to create like these three nice modern looking onboarding pages. Literally, I'm looking at the timer, it literally took me 18 minutes. And that's just me kind of talking to you guys. If I was actually focused, would have been able to get this done a lot quicker. And you're gonna see, I mean, once we dive into this animation, once we dive into this, you know, the page transitions and all that stuff, it, it's, Swift UI is just very powerful. And I mean, I'm not even a developer, you know, I'm more on the designer side, you know, I'm more than happy to code any design I want and add animation to it. But when it comes to adding that feature set, you know, still kind of learning, but this 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 program, Swift UI, allows me to really kind of dive in and at times it feels like a no code tool because you're essentially dragging a lot of stuff into the dashboard here and, and Swift's doing most of the hard work, you know, and you're, you're really styling off layers, right? Like Z stacks or V stacks and H stacks. So it makes it easy. It's, it reminds me of almost like a flex box, right? So again, Highly suggest diving into Swift UI. Put your comments, put whatever you want in the comment below. Um, excited to you know show you guys this video, and I'll, I'll see you in the next video when we really when we really get to have some fun and dive into animation page transition, pa page transitions. Thanks, guys.